How to Prevent Damp and Mold In this video, Shahid will show you tips to combat existing damp and mold and prevent new mold growth. A common cause of mold in the home is condensation. This occurs when excess warm moisture in the air comes into contact with cooler air or a cold surface. Everyday activities such as cooking, showering and bathing, and drying clothes indoors can cause condensation. You can take some simple steps to reduce condensation, helping to prevent damp and mold. There are three main ways to prevent condensation in your home. Number one, stop excess moisture building up. Number two, ventilate your home. And number three, keep your home warm. Stop excess moisture building up. To stop excess moisture from building up, wipe down surfaces where moisture settles. Cover boiling pans when cooking. When cooking, bathing and drying clothes, make sure you close the door behind you to prevent steam from going into the colder rooms of the property, even after you've finished. Avoid using a radiator to dry your clothes. If you are drying your clothes inside, use a clothes area and make sure you open the window and close the door. Ventilate or air your home. To ventilate your home, open windows. Turn on extractor fans, especially when you are cooking, washing or drying clothes. Open a window for a while each day or use the trickle vents which are normally located above the window. Trickle vents can be opened by sliding or pulling the bar towards you. Once opened, you should be able to feel the airflow with your fingers. It is very important that you do not block air vents. Allow air to circulate around furniture and cupboards. You can do this by not overfilling your cupboards and allowing space between your furniture and the wall. Keep your home warm. Draft proofing will help to keep the home warmer and also reduce the cost of fuel bills. When the property is warmer, condensation is less likely to form. Maintain low heat when the weather is wet and cold. This is more effective than having short bursts of high heat. If you don't have heating in every room, open a door to allow the heat to circulate around the home. To treat existing mould, wipe down the affected areas using specialist mould spray. This can be found at most supermarkets and hardware stores. Do not use bleach or washing up liquid to remove mould. Also, do not disturb mould by brushing or vacuuming because this can increase the risk of breathing problems. Treat any mould that you may already have in your home, then follow previous steps to reduce condensation. This will restrict new mould growth. Throw away any cloths you have used to clean the mould. Clothes that have mould grown on them should be dry cleaned and carpets with mould on them should be shampooed. After treatment of the affected areas, redecorate if needed using good quality fungicidal paint to help prevent mould reoccurring. This paint is not effective if overlaid with ordinary paints or wallpaper. For your safety, remember to always use gloves when handling mould spray. Use a mould spray that carries a health and safety executive approved number, making sure you follow the manufacturer's instructions. Dispose of cleaning cloths. 